Hi, this is Laurent from Beyond and today I would like to talk to you about open art and something new and actually very exciting. Now, open art is an application to create images using AI and today it came up with some new features that are quite intriguing. Now, like others, with open art you can train models that you can use later on to design new images. Now they came up with something new, it's called characters. Basically it's the same thing, you have the options to create characters based on the description, start with one image, a bit like with RenderNet, or train it with different uh, existing pictures. And there is a difference in the way that characters and models are used within open art. So I actually designed from the same person Ruby two characters. For the first one I used 30 different images and all of them or almost all of them were made with flux. And the other one is based on only one picture, this one, which is one of the, the, the best pictures I have. Now when you want to use it, you have some new interesting features and you can see them here. So here above you can select the character you want to use. You can only find the characters and not the models. So it's really two distinct features in uh, the application. And here you have the three new elements. So you can prompt and reference, pose your character and place character in image. Okay. So we will start with uh, place character in image and then look at the pose. The prompt and reference is more classic. So what's new in here? You can select a picture where you want to add uh, your character. So let's take, for example, doesn't really matter. Let's use of one of those that they provide at the start. You can decide where you would like to put your character. So let's put Ruby, well, here. So then you save the placement. And after that, you add your prompt and I'll make two pictures. Here you go. So it took more or less 50 seconds to create those both images. And here you have the first one. So Ruby is in it in a white robe with a violin in hand located where I asked her to be. But as you can see, the quality of the image is not that great. The hand here is not well done, here completely wrong. And even though I use 30 images to train Ruby, the face looks alike, but it's not that great. Let's have a look at the second one. This one is already better, but then again, the face is not as good as it should be. And this whole part here is not that great. But on the positive note, she's uh, located where she should be. Now let's try to do exactly the same, but switch Ruby to Ruby 2, which is based on only one picture. And here again, now here both pictures. Let's have a look. Here, again, located at right place. The position looks better here. On the other hand, this part is not that great and the face is quite wrong, actually. If you look at the other one, well, here she looks more Asian. The rest seems already better. So already from what I see, we can see here is that the position works better with the model trained with only one image rather than a whole bunch of images. And I had in my previous tests the same impression. Also, the image itself is not exactly the same as the background. So it seems like it has been added like a sort of collage rather than really being embedded inside the picture. Unlike the, the traditional model, it looks like the, the face is, is not as good uh, with the character. Uh, there is much many more variations. In addition, if you look at it, I put the weight of the face of the character at the maximum and the, I, I use the strictly keep the character features on. If you put it on off, it will have more flexibility in order to change the, the face of the character. So I'm kind of disappointed in the use of the character versus the tr more traditional model. Now, let's get to the more interesting part the pose your character. In here, well, you know, with control net, you can already use different postures. Here we go a step beyond. And this is very interesting because this would be like actually rigging a character like in a 3D uh, engine. So here you can select the basis form of the character. So is it a female, male, female short, female, male athletic, etc. So let's go for female athletic. Then you can select a pose, like different animation tools. Let's go for let's go for this one. In addition, you can select how she's uh, positioned. So let's put her like 
this and then you can like in a real rigging tool you can actually uh, adapt so let's put her leg her foot like that and you update the pose and you have it here now you can add or reduce the weight of the, po the posture so let's put it at 75 and have a look ruby is dancing and we'll keep it like that you also have advanced settings it just took the steps so you can see normal we're using actually stable diffusion stable diffusion probably with flux to create those images let's put it at 30 and the prompt adherence i'll keep it like here you go so i didn't say anything about how the person the character is dressed or the the backgrounds so here you have it let's look at the position so it's more or less this the face again is not correct and the foot here didn't change but the main posture is the the one that i requested let's have a look here same thing more or less again different face the size it seems to me that the tool has issues with the legs and also with the hands because if we look at other pictures i made before uh, this one is for example one that i created with the same character again here the face was very different and the size of the whole legs this one is already better than others here it had issues with the, the the foot here that was another one it makes the more older errors with legs and uh, and hands so it's quite amazing to have this tool to create the postures but on the other hand when the tool creates the images there are for now at least plenty of errors let's go with weight 95 let's see what it does now as you can see it seems to be impossible to use both this and the image background from the previous feature because i didn't change it normally it's supposed to be there but it doesn't integrate both of them so here you go i'm really not a big fan look at the the feet the hand the face let's put some more details and use R ruby one instead okay so here let's take another posture arm slightly open well as you can see here the feet are actually below the ground so i'm not even sure how i can put it up higher up so i will change again below let's see how it does it let's keep it this way this is actually amazing it's like creating a 3d video game character but in 2d so I won't change anything else in it, just keep it like that and I'll keep it at 95. So if we look at the pose, looks more or less the same. We have the full the, the feet here, which is a good thing. The background is totally unrelated. The face is not Ruby's face at all. And I find the, the quality of the images below par. It's really compared to simple flux i find it much much lower quality and another one same here the good thing is we see the both her feet she's dressed in black she has not the trained face i mean with over 30 images of the same character having a result that is completely different it's kind of disappointing and i'm on level one now let's you know what let's try to the same with uh, putting the strictly uh, character features off let's put something else and here let's put something female instead of athletic oh no she's on base let's put it a bit like an athletic and let's see here okay full picture like that let's turn a little bit here you go let's put 35 in steps from adherence 4 and we pumped it all up and let's see what it gave us results in comparison, so just to, to show you, those were made with the character and this was made with just traditional model training. So this is much more, more like her face, even though I find that open art is not the best one in training characters. I have, I prefer render net even if it's using one face, um, but you see it's a completely different quality of image here this is really her face so well almost the, the end result is completely different now have a look here so her face yeah now here the body again the po the pose is there and i find it amazing the quality of the picture though is not that great this one is already better she even has a as a bag or i don't know what okay so this is what i wanted to show i just started training and um open art launched it yesterday i find it especially this uh the pose your character interesting because i wasn't a huge fan of the previous uh pose systems this one is really like a 3d uh tool and the when it will start working and providing high quality images like the the other models 
results, then it will be really, really a useful tool. Have a try and uh, let us know if you got better results than I do. I'm sure that I will, uh, I will continue testing it and see if I get better results maybe by prompting with uh, more content or enhancing the prompts which i didn't try yet have a great day and see you around